You're watching a segment of The Splash, Greater West Bloomfield's news magazine show. I'm joined this week by a very special guest, Jonathan Jackson, the first host of The Splash and now a reporter for WNEM. And Jonathan, welcome back. Hi, Brooke. It's good to be back. So, so you were the creator of The Splash in a nutshell. I mean, you produced it, you formatted it. And now this is the 150th episode. It's amazing to see how far it's come, and I'm so glad to see the legacy continue. Uh, glad to see you at the helm, too, taking care and taking over the show. And yeah, it's, it's just an honor to be back here. It's so good to see you guys again. So tell me, um, tell me how it was for you to be the creator of The Splash. Oh, wow. Well, when we first started, it was a little daunting. I mean, to do this whole show by ourselves was kind of a, a, something we had never really done before. But as, as time went on, we started to develop our own style, our voice, and having these great guests every week. And just the support from the community here in West Bloomfield, too. People loved the show, and they watched and you know tuned in. and. We we really appreciated that. So. so you and Dave Alberry kind of created it together and then you kind of took it on as producer and just kind of ran with it. Oh yeah, most definitely. So all the elements. You know, obviously we've got our three main stories. I'm sure we're still doing that. Our reporters, obviously, who help out with the show. Sidewalk Talk, one of our more popular right. segments I know. People love going out on the street and getting their opinions on whatever topic it is that day. Um, oh, and of course, our person of the week. I love that segment of our show. Always yes. finding somebody different in the community, somebody unique, and just giving them a little bit of a spotlight, you know? And that's important because it lifts up the community, I think. It really does. It really right. does. Here uh, in, you know, the greater West Bloomfield area, you got Kego Harbor, Orchard Lake, Sylvan, and of course, West Bloomfield, all of us together, and we make one really great community. Okay, so now you are a reporter at WNEM. So how's that going? I'm loving it so you? far. You know, uh, learning what I learned here and obviously at school and my other internships. Taking that all to Saginaw where I work now at WNEM has been great and I love it up there. It's it's different in that uh, I've never seen so many farm fields and uh, <laughs> uh, empty space as much. I'm kind of used to more, you know, city and landscape, right. but uh, it, it is such a great community up there as well and, and there are definitely so many different types of stories I report on. I mean, Saginaw has everything from, you know, you name it, <laughs> basically. Right, right. So you're in Saginaw now as compared to West Bloomfield, but but, but stories still translate no matter where you are, right? Oh, most definitely, yeah, you know. And I also work out of Flint, too, um, Saginaw and Flint. We're, we're kind of doing a thing where we're trying to expand our borders. So, you know, we have a Flint station as well. And uh, we also work out of uh, Midland and, uh, you know, Bay City. So many of the, you know, the Tri-City areas up there as well. So. so what do you miss most about being the host of The Splash? Uh, I think I miss what we're doing right now, actually. <laughs> do you want to interview. <laughs> yeah, you know, we'll just we'll just switch really quick. <laughs> we'll yeah, you know. We can do that. <laughs> this was actually my favorite part of the show, and I, I think I made that very clear to even our staff. I said I just loved it. Whoever we had uh, sitting at the desk that week was always interesting to me, and I love talking with people like yourself about that. You know, it was just so much fun. So, what do you hope for the future? future. Um, well, you know, right now where I'm at is good because, I, again, I'm, I'm still growing in my career and, you know, I'm, I'm still reporting uh, up in Saginaw and I'm also getting to anchor every now and then, which is great. In fact, I'll be anchoring uh, the ne this weekend uh, awesome. coming up, so that'll be great. I'm glad to do that again. But, uh, yeah, I, I hope eventually to either maybe come back here to Detroit and do some reporting or expand. You know, I, I'm looking into other cities because, you know, nothing wrong with going out of your comfort zone a little bit more. And, right. uh, you know, I can always come back, obviously. But, you know, there's always opportunities out there, so I'm still searching. So when you're covering a story, what is, what is your most favorite story? Ooh, I'd say feature stories, Brooke. I love to get in depth with people, you know, and hear their personal, you know, whatever uh, story or account they have. I love that. You know, I've done several feature pieces on, you know, kids in our area and out in Saginaw who've done amazing things. Or, or families who've uh, done like uh, incredible events or stuff like that. You know, uh, anybody who has a story to tell and is more personal to them, I love telling that. So yeah. Okay, so then on the opposite spectrum of that, <laughs> what are the worst stories? And I think we both <laughs> Ooh, the worst we both stories. have a list of those, right? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm not one for court. Uh, I know some people really love you know those hard crime drama, you know, or whatever. But that's not me so much. I'd rather be like I said, talking with people rather than sitting in a courtroom <laughs> half the day. Right. But those stories do get a lot of attention as well. So and we need people for that. So so yeah. what do you think of the whole digital aspect of our business now? It's changed so much. 
um, as far as social media, yeah. who you are on set as opposed to who you are maybe on Twitter. Mm -hmm. It all has to coincide. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. I mean, I love the fact that social media is playing a bigger role, um, especially when it's used to promote stories and also get the message out there because that's what it helps, you know, it, it, it serves a purpose in that aspect. And uh, I think it, it there it's good that it's coming into play and more people are learning how to use it. There's also some bad to social media, as we know. I mean, it also can spread a lot of negativity and we uh, it gives us that connection to the people, which is great, but it can also be bad if, you know, some folks can be, uh. right. but I, I think uh, for the majority part, it's great that it's really helping our industry, so. So what advice do you have to give to people who maybe want to sit in your shoes one day? Um, on I'd, this side of the desk. On this side, on yeah, this side. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, for anybody who wants to sit behind the desk, I'd say definitely practice, uh, you know, what you're doing, you know, with the camera, you know, when you're doing your stand-ups or, or teases or whatever. Do do as many as you can and, and, and get comfortable being behind the camera as well as in front of it um, because that's what you need to know these days. You need to know how to work that camera. You need to know how to edit. You need to know how to write. And eventually that will all help you become a better reporter. And hopefully even if you want to be an anchor like me, that too. So, yeah. So it's a whole skill set. It definitely is. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so any parting advice for people or and actually any words that you'd like to say to the community that <laughs> to, has known to you To the for beautiful so West Bloomfield community? Yes. Oh, um, well, I miss you guys, definitely. I, 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 I'm... It's so good to be back again. You know, I was just telling you earlier, I'd love to visit, you know, Chief and uh, uh, Fire Chief Greg Flynn and, you know, all the other people here in this community who I've known and seeing you guys. And, I mean, it's just... It, it just baffles me how much people really took to the splash and to myself, and I'm so grateful to that every day. So. Well, you know, we are so grateful to you. We're so glad to see you again. It has been so nice uh, to have you back on set with us. And you know, Feels like home, you know. Yeah, <laughs> there was one thing that I insisted on when I came, and it was a oh, coffee cup. Oh, my goodness. So, and I know how much you love coffee, too. I do too. love coffee. She so loves there coffee. it is. So, Look at that. So now you have a piece of the splash to take with you. You know what? I know where this is going to go. This yeah. is going to go on my desk in Saginaw. That's what it's going to do. <laughs> and people be like, what's that? I'm like, this is yep. where I used to work. And that's where go. it all started. That's where right? it all started right here. Exactly. Exactly. So, <laughs> so think you, of Brooke. us when you have that and take your big gulp of coffee, as we all know in this business, you well, really need it. Oh, you do. You do. Right? Especially if you're doing that early morning show. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so Jonathan, really, it's been a pleasure to see you again. All the best to you. And again, thank you for creating or producing such a great show. And I know that we'll be hearing from you again soon. I'm I'm honored. Thank you so much, okay, Brooke. Okay, thanks. <laughs> and once again, we've been joined by Jonathan Jackson from WNEM TV. Thanks for watching this segment of The Splash. To watch the entire show or other segments, catch us on Comcast Channel 15 and at and Channel 99. Or look us up online at thesplash.tv and listen to us every week on 89.3 WBLD, the all-new Lakes FM.